What a, what a football game. Uh, you know, first off, just want to thank everybody, uh, you know, Bernie, everybody with the Sun Bowl. It's been an outstanding week, as I said in the presser the other day. Uh, the hospitality, uh, just the people. I mean, they, they were, you know, it's first class uh, bowl game here. Uh, you know, first class stage out there at the end of the game. And, and again, it was a first class job by our football team uh, pulling that one out. You know, we talked about going out there. We were down a few guys. and. Uh, just find a way to win a football game. Just get it done. GID, get it done one way or another. And our guys found a way to get it done. Um, and I couldn't be more proud of them. You know, as I told them in the locker room after the game, you know, I love this football team. Uh, you know, nine win season. Those are hard to come by. We gave probably three or four games away during the season, and uh, it was a great way to finish for our kids. So I'll open it up for questions. Coach, you go down 28 to 14 off of pick six, and then you guys go and score 20 unanswered points up until the very end. What does that say about your team? You know what, uh, kids didn't flinch. I mean, you know, besides those 20 points and, you know, we throw a pick six. Yeah. Um, you know, besides, besides all that, I mean, you know, you know 34 seconds left and, and, and what Nick did that drive, I mean, you just talk about leadership. And, you know, I talked earlier, you know, leadership wise, um, you know, Nick, you know, Nick took it and, and we went down the field and that's, that'll go down as one of the, you know, best two minute drives, 34 seconds, no timeouts. And you go down and, you know, kick a field goal, uh, outstanding job. Coach, you're up by three. Um, you're up by three and you're, you're going for it on fourth and down inside the, the five yard line and then all of a sudden it's a false start. You settle for the field goal, you go up by six. Perhaps was that false start a blessing in disguise? The way you know, I don't know. It felt like, you know, either way, whether we, you know, the, the field goal, I guess maybe <coughs> in the end you'd say, yeah, it's a good idea. Maybe it was good that we false start, but we were hoping to score a touchdown there. So maybe it wouldn't matter at the end. Um, so, you know, you know, I know Nick was mad when we couldn't get to run that play. And we figured, you know, if we didn't get it, they were going to have to go 95. We didn't think they could do it on us. And um, just, yeah, maybe a blessing. And Pat, we were lucky. Pat, two games into the season, uh, your kicker over here, he, he missed a couple of, of rough ones, and you even admitted that it played a role in the loss to Tennessee. Can you talk about the growth that you've seen him have over this season, only missing, I believe, one kick in ACC play and going five for five today in a bowl game? Yeah, I mean, he's been outstanding all year. I mean, you know, we saw him through, you know, through camp. I mean, he was the guy really through spring ball. And, um, you know, you talk about adversity in, in somebody that, you know, um, you know, got beat out a year ago by a walk-on. And, you know, we're always going to just play the best players. But uh, he came back and, and took the job over. Not only took it over, you know, he's the MVP specialist today. And, you know, to go out with five field goals and, you know, Byron uh, and Cam, those, you know, the snap, the hold. And obviously the kick are always special, uh, but uh, you know, outstanding job by him, just sticking with it, and couldn't be more proud of him. Just talk about how your team overcame adversity, not just in this game, but all year. I mean, especially this game. Yeah, I mean, it's five wins in a row to finish the season. Uh, you know, we talk about adversity a ton. Um, it, I mean, a lot. And you know, we try to develop, you know, how we're going to respond during camp in August. These guys will tell you. I mean, it, you know, we talk about how you know how we deal with adversity and and the, and the pressures of this game of football and. and uh, and I think that just shows up when you talk about character and, 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 and what our guys know how to do. And, and they just like, they never flinch. I mean, you know, I, I, I can't think of a time they've ever flinched. Um, so just you know, that's coaching and that's, that's guys, our players believing. Pat, did you uh, maybe second guess yourself using those back to back timeouts given Nick? Timeouts? I didn't second guess myself. I didn't want to use that, but we had, you know, I'd rather call another timeout. Um, then, uh, then play with 10 guys on defense. And it's what it was. We had 10 guys, you know, we communicate the personnel out of the field and uh, somebody didn't hear it. So the, the timeout was a little bit more valuable uh, right then instead of playing with 10 guys on defense. Pat, no Servassier today, but you still got really solid production from all three of your linebackers and even some of the reserves. Just talk about their efforts and, I mean, what you saw, especially from Bengali. It was probably the best game he had all year. Yeah, I mean, you know, those guys, I mean, you look at where Bengali was in the open against West Virginia and where he came after 13 games and Tyler Wilts and Shane Simon. We got, we got, you know, we got a great group of linebackers out there. And, and uh, you know, Solomon DeShields, that guy keeps getting better every day. Uh, can't say enough about, you know, him. He had a great, you know, fumble recovery on that one kickoff in the fourth quarter or whatever quarter that was. I guess it was the fourth. So, um, our linebackers have come a long way. We got some dudes in there that can play, and, and uh, without Savassier, you know, we still were able to get it done. That play Bengali picked off, was that something that UCLA showed on tape? Was that just right positioning? Can you walk us through that? I can't walk you through that. I wish I could walk you through it. He picked it off, and I uh, wish he would have scored. Um, but uh, it was a great play by him. We'll look at the tape and, and, and tell exactly what happened. Were you but, surprised at all to see them switch quarterbacks in the second half? Um, I mean, the guy threw three picks. I mean, um, you know, we caught three picks. 
you know, he, he threw, threw, threw three nice ones to us. So not surprised at all. Uh, but we thought he was a good runner, um, and uh, you know, didn't know if he could hurt us with the pass. And he actually, you know, had a nice throw. Um, he had two really nice throws uh, down the field, and then. Uh, I think their third touchdown they got, you know, was a busted coverage where we didn't have a guy in the middle of the field. Nobody was there. Uh, Eric Halbert was expecting coverage, so it certainly wasn't on Eric at all. Was, uh, he looked like he was a guy, but he was expecting a guy in the middle of the field. Are you talking about quarterback? What do you think of your performance today, considering, you know, you threw, threw that pick and then came back from it, and he usually doesn't stop again? He's a tough dude, and, and our football team believes in him. You know, we said that back in the summer, spring ball. You know, uh, he's, a, he's a great competitor. He's a leader. He can you know, you know, he can beat you with his feet, which we hadn't had all year. I mean, he made some great plays. That one quarterback draw was a gigantic play uh, that he had, you know, on top of all the rest of the times he scrambled, stepped up in the pocket and, and, and threw the football. He got cheap shot at one time, Nick, uh, after a touchdown pass to Bud Means. I was, you know, never got called. Um, there was some interesting stuff out there. Are you going to allow yourself to think what might have happened if Nick had played more this year? Um, no, we're not going to look backwards. We look forward and, and uh, you know, who knows? Coach, you see a lot of uh, next next men up in this game. Obviously, a lot of uh, players getting opportunity to play and really show their talents here in this game. What can you say about those players that stepped up in those roles? Today? Yeah, you know, we talked about you know just you know our youth playing with confidence and going out and getting it done. And, and uh, you know, we'll look at the tape and see. I mean, you know, I think Dayon Day he played like he is, and he's still he's still a baby. And um, you know, we'll, we'll see. I mean, um, you know, one of those young guys wasn't in the middle of the field on one of those touchdowns, so he'll live and learn by that. And, um, but, you know, we'll, we'll look at the videotape and, and, uh, and see exactly. But, you know, you, you go out there with, you know, a bunch of new guys playing on defense especially and, and come out and beat the number 18 team in the country. And, you know, we better finish in the top 25, EJ. Where's EJ at? Where are you? Okay. Where are you uh, <laughs> get it done. Um, but, uh, Jerry, I think you got to vote, don't you? Your friend Johnny does. Okay, Johnny. Okay. I'll let you get on in there. I will. But, uh, you know, you knock out the number 18 team in the country um, with, with a lot of guys down. Um, it's a, you know. Tribute to our football team. Pat, you mentioned all the young guys. I mean, you, you look at what Rodney did today. You look at what Ben did today. You look at what all the guys on defense did, and the, most of them will probably be back. How excited does their efforts um, from today get you for next year? Well, it's a springboard. I mean, you think about you know this is you know, we were going to have to live with it, win or lose. You know, for all you know, January, February, March, all the way through that, and uh, it's certainly better to go into winter condition. Coach Stack can't. We already started talking about winter condition, what he's got going, plan. Uh, so he's ready to go for you young guys, uh, and uh, so it's uh, it's going to be fun. That's a question for Coach. Pat, all season long you've talked about Rodney and how he's kind of the, the Robin to, you know, Izzy's Batman, if you will, and he's able to take on starter workload. He's able to do all this. How much of a validation point was today for a guy like Rodney? You know, we, you know, we knew all along, Rodney knew all along uh, what kind of football player he was. And, um, again, if he doesn't get hurt in the opener, you know, who knows, it may be him. You know, opting out and going to the NFL. Uh, you know, we, you know, <laughs> that's just the way it is. But we know Rodney's really good. Uh, our offensive line, you always got to give credit to those guys and the tight ends and, and even those receivers blocking down the field. I mean, you know, it's a running back can't. We've seen that before. Running back can't do it all by himself. I don't care who's back there. Uh, but Rodney's a great football player. We, you know, uh, we knew that. I didn't have any fear at all uh, with him being the guy. Thank you, coach. You can hang out here with the players. Sure. Thank you.